So let's start to look how we can print to the console in JavaScript. And first of all, to understand the console, basically here, if we have our browser here, we can open up the developer tab and then we select here the console. You can see the elements and then the console tab. And this here helps us to give information, warnings or errors, or just plain enough messages. So let's start to do something now here. So the first of all, we can do here the console log. That will just log in any kind of value. So if I put in here, hello, save this, refresh, you can see here, hello, we get one message now. And here it even indicates as an info as well. So next thing what we could do is here, instead of a standard message, we could say here, constant, hello to equals, and then we put in here a string value, hello, how are you? Then what I want to do is I want to have that constant being logged here. So if I refresh here, now you can see here it gets the variable or the constant variable and output it here. The console log is very useful for you to figure out if there are errors or certain items are correct or not correct. What is also nice is there's a way to communicate. For example, we can say here console dot log or not even console log we're going to say here for example warning we're going to put in warn and then we're going to say here uh, make sure values are in string type for example i'm just making up a story so this is like a warning here and it communicates it nicely so if i refresh here you can see here we get this nice icon here sometimes these icons are not being shown usually with the info it doesn't show always but here you can see now it gives this information here nicely in a highlighted color. This could be very useful for communicating something if someone uses a JavaScript file and you want to make sure that they follow instructions. We can put in like these kind of instructions or warning. Another one is when you have an error. So this is very common. Uh, the console logs usually do it on their own, but you can also create your own error here. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here now we get the highlighted in red color. What you can do as well is another one is the console.info. And this is just basically similar to a bot. Let's say hello info, save, refresh. There will be only one difference. Only in uh, Google Chrome you will notice that. Is that there will be an icon. Normally there will be a blue icon here or the text will be blue because the console log and these are slightly different. So that's the only difference in here, but for Google Chrome, they're so identical, you don't really see it. They are being categorized as an info as well. So that's the only difference to remember with different browsers, you will notice this more clearly. Another option is, what if you have an array? So this is a very uh, common issue, is we have an array here, let's put make an array here. I'm gonna say here, and this is one, two, three, four. So if I save this, get the hello, put it in there, say refresh, you can see here we get an array, it shows you four values, and this is the index number, and that is the matching value with that index number, indicating length of four. This is nice, but sometimes it's quite hard to read. So what could we do is an alternative. So we're going to say here, console.table, and then we're just going to grab here this specific value, put it in here, semicolon, save, and let's remove all of these. Refresh, and now, as you can see here, we have here the standard format, and then here we have a nice table, even with the standard format above showing as well, but nicely easy to read. Just a warning with this one here, this is quite heavy if you have a lot of data in here. This is nice for, your, for easy to read, but it's quite heavy if you have a large array data set. 